What is up guys, welcome to the video. Today we've got something special to put on the EP3. We're actually on the way to Tegwa. We're gonna set off in a minute. We're gonna go to Tegwa, see Johnny, and he's hooking me up with a Revo Technica short shifter assembly for my EP3. Now this is gonna be a game changer. I've spoke to a few people now, I'll put it on the Facebook groups, and everyone's saying they're an absolute amazing mod that you can do to this car. Like I just showed, this is obviously the standard gear knob. It's not got a small short shifter on or anything like that. And even when it's in gear, there's a lot of play in the gear knob. Now obviously I get that it's 13 years old, but this is why we're changing it. So there's a lot of play in the shifter, but this Revo Technica one's gonna sort it out. Now before we get there, I just wanna say as well, if you do want to grab anything from Tegwa, use my code, I'll put it on the screen now, you get a discount at checkout on the Tegwa website. But yeah, we're gonna head there now. It's about a 45 minute drive, we're gonna go pick up the part, uh, and then I'm gonna get a hamp oil filter as well for my next oil change, then drive all the way back and see if we can install it. Now installing one of these, I've been told they can be really easy or they can be really fiddly. Now obviously, if you take this off, it's it's literally all but all behind here. So we're gonna give it a go. I'm gonna give this a go on my own. If I get stuck, I'll just give one of my mates a shout. But I'm I'm pretty sure it's quite straightforward, just very fiddly. You might end up needing two hands to like line stuff up or, or something like that. But I'm gonna give this one a go and just wait it out and see if I can figure it out. But yeah, like I said, about 45 minute drive to Tegwa. Go see Johnny, go see all the boys that work at Tegwa. Have a quick look round and then head back to install the shifter. What t-shirt you got on? Hey. <laughs> right, let's hit the road. Oh, I absolutely love coming to this place. It's like Honda heaven every time you come. Oh, 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 no, we've got some bits. That's so sick. Man, this thing's well nice. I'd love one of those as well. If anyone wants to swap a Honda logo for a uh, Honda EK, then let me know. <laughs> right, let's go get the shifter. Every time you come, you've got to have a quick look. Oh, it's like... I really like those in gold. Really like those. Reduced throw. Oh, it's brilliant. Not the box though, the bit in the box. I'm looking forward to How, What are they like to install? Are they a little They're bit fiddly? Oh, are they? I've got the first uh, garage banner for the unit. Look at that. My arm's on that way. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's mint. That's mint. And a t shirt. Spoiled. So we've got, we got a few others. Is that an EP3? Yeah, it is. <laughs> 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 Oh, is this a, the, yeah, the, um, the, the turbo prototype? Oh Mate, wow! It's fucking rad. What did it? What did it get? Four sixty something. It's crazy. <laughs> so this is like the prototype kind of test car for the Tegwa Turbo Kit, and in the future, I'm definitely going to be looking at doing what this car's had done to it. He's just gone to grab the keys. We're not going to go out on it, but it's pushing. I think he just said four hundred and sixty. Was it? Four hundred and sixty. It ridiculous so it's just going to show me the engine bay what it all looks like but right so did you say mind. four four one six or four six zero four six i think it's like four six three we've got it up on facebook four hundred and sixty three like we went out in it the other the other day oh my god whack a mod um, yeah. That's really tidy, just isn't it? Just bear in mind the bay's like a, a bit scruffy, just because it's just one of the. I'm not looking cars. at them, looking there. Yeah. <laughs> 5858. 58. How are you doing? Spot. Jesse, you're right. You're right. I've got a shirt and design that shirt. Random question. Go for it. Are you from Kirk Allen? Yeah. So for this, you've obviously got the manifold. What what actually comes with the kit? Literally everything you need. We're doing it as like a as like a configurable product. Right. So you'll have options for a lot of stuff. Obviously, you'll have like your, your base pack yeah um but when we've fleshed out more of the kit you, we're going to do it so you can have 
absolutely everything you need, but if some people just need certain bits, got you, like got you, certain other bits, then people are more than welcome to just. Grab so if I've got absolutely nothing. If what you're starting I? with fuck all, we'll give you everything. Right, yeah, that's like we'll, sick. We'll sort of, we'll Intercooler of the lot? Yeah, yeah. So oh, we, mega. Like, including like piping, uh, Murray clamps, um, your lovely 5858. Like, that just, really is nice. <laughs> it's, it's perfect. Like, we, we went out in it, and the only thing that we feel like was letting us down is the tyres. Really? That's what you want, innit? Like, it's just, <laughs> we just went down the road and it absolutely lights them up. Does it? It is mint. <laughs> it's like, it's oh, violent. Man. Like, I've, I've been in turbo turbo Hondas before and like... This is enough, different. The, it just felt... That's a big like, turbo, isn't it? That's a very big I turbo. I don't think it's like massive, but all things considered, but I think it's just... An, for an EP3, I've seen a lot a nice of... It's a nice pairing for a K, I think. Yeah. But it's just, it's violent. It's proper visceral feel, like... <laughs> Yeah. So what's what what inlets this? Uh, it's uh, ultra. Right, yeah. fair enough. Um, and then it's Tegra throttle body. Then yeah, something I need to look at actually, a Tegra throttle body. Oh man, honestly, every single time I come here, everyone's just so nice. Just it's his working day, and he's he, like even Johnny's let him have time out to come show me around, have a talk about some cars. It's just it's such a homely place, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? You just feel so welcome. Huge shout out to Tegra, absolute amazing guys. Going to go home now and get this shifter installed, and I'm really looking forward to this. Even they said in there it should be quite easy to install, but I'm not going to jinx myself, and it makes a really good difference. So. I just still can't believe that guy lives two minutes down the road from where I used to live. Hello. That's bonkers. Okay. I want turbo kit. I literally came down for the shifter and for the oil filter. I've left with a complete massive Tegra garage banner, a t-shirt with an EP3 on it. Honestly, I'm, oh, I'm, I'm so, so grateful to be working alongside like Johnny and everyone and being able to speak to people like Tegra is a massive company and for the fact that he's interested in helping me out and supporting what I do is is just to me it's crazy so let's hit the road let's get this installed right let's check out this bad boy oh oh yeah look at that looks pretty similar but look it just doesn't move once it's in gear once it's in a position, it doesn't move. Okay, right, I'm gonna do my best to do this all on my own, but don't shout at me if I end up having to get some help because obviously I don't wanna ruin anything. I know there's nothing that can really go wrong, but for the sake of someone knowing what they're doing, I might have to get some help. Let's give it a go. I'm gonna take all the centre console out and take the old gear shifter out. Okay, so as far as I know, it's just a bit annoying all the wires for the radio in the way but as far as i know four bolts one in each corner and then once that's off it's a matter of taking these pins out of the rubber bits uh, and then down there i don't know if you can see but there's like a thing that you've got to turn clockwise um that's just that that's my num description of how to do this job but we're going to give it a go that's what it's about so let's crack on i'm going to undo all these four bolts take the pins out go from there Okay, so far so good. I don't know if you can see, here's obviously the gear linkages, I'm pretty sure they are. And they go into two little clips, uh, kind of the exact same as them. So what you've got to do, you've got to kind of get a screwdriver in there and pry it to where it like opens up, but then push it at the same time. I know what people mean now why they say these are quite fiddly, but so far so good. One of them's already off, I've just got to do this right hand side now. And quite literally, it's a matter of putting it all back together, so I'm quite surprised well how easy this has been so just a matter of getting that right one off like i said and then i'll update you guys once that's done i got it i got it so this should be free out with the old bitch the only thing that's different is this has got a little stopper to stop the this little bit going down See what I mean? There's like that welded bit of plastic to stop that going past it. So you get what I mean? So when this is on, it stops that going any further. Whereas the new one doesn't have that. So that's the only thing different. I guess you, someone could weld a tiny bit of plastic on. But either way, uh, I don't think we have to switch anything over. I think the new ones that Tegra do come with everything to literally just drop straight in. So before I forget which one's which, <laughs> this is going out the car. Adios. I have no use for anymore. If anyone wants to buy a standard gear mechanism assembly, 
give your boy a shout. Who's your boy, Cop? <laughs> Who's your boy, No, Cop? I'm not doing that. <laughs> okay, this one is back on. It is really fiddly. You've just got to you just got to keep playing around with it. Literally, there's no other explanation. Just keep fiddling with it until you can get it to match up in the hole. Because, like I said, on the end there's like a doorway. There's a gap in the in the in the joint where you have to match the gap of the the little needle so it's just a matter of fiddling around trying to get it to sit flush in the hole like that one and then you're literally done so we've just got to put this back together put the dash on and then go take it for a drive we're in boys we're in oh i'm excited now let me just put the needles back on this Right, that's in. Bolt it back up and we're good to go. I think we're actually good to go. I can't believe that I've actually done it all myself. But I have. So we'll have no moaning. Right, I'm going to go ahead, bolt it back all back up, put the dash back, and then we're going to take it for a spin. Right. Oh my God. Oh my God, there's no play in it. Right, let's test it. One. <gasps> it goes in like instantly. Two. Three. Four, five, six. We're done. We're done. Right, let's wire it all back up and take it for a spin. Are you excited? Yeah. I'm actually looking forward to this. It, oh my God. I, th I think it's going to take a lot of getting used to. A lot of getting used to because there's hardly any throw on that. It's straight into the gears. That's crazy. Right, let's put it all back together if I can remember. Wiring's not my best. Oh, I, I hate wiring. So. The radio probably won't work for this drive. <laughs> it feels amazing. I'm going to take it for a drive and get my reaction, but this feels awesome, man. It feels really solid. It does not move whatsoever. Let's give it a go. Looking forward to this. Oh my god, it doesn't even feel like I'm moving the shift. It doesn't even feel like I'm doing anything. Look at the move. There's literally no movement. I'm trying to move that side to side. Why don't you try and move that side to side? Hardly. Yeah. No, Whereas before it was like down here. Oh yeah, my god. That's... It feels so nice going into gears. It just. <gasps> right, I'm going to take it for a quick blast. Now, what I'm not going to do is blip down the revs until I've got used to it because that's when you end up pulling it from fourth back into second and blowing your engine. But so far, so good. This feels mint. Honestly, move that into gears yourself. That feels quite good, actually. <laughs> Doesn't it? Okay, one, two. Oh good, right, let's go for a little hoon. It's got to be done, it has to be done. It'd be rude not to. 60 road. Oh my God, that feels so nice. Let's try one more time. So I've noticed that it actually looks like the gear stick's still got quite a bit to travel. But if you actually listen to the gearbox, when you're driving it especially, you notice, it's actually in gear a lot earlier than it used to be, even though the stick looks like it's still travelling quite far. But you can kind of hear the gearbox. It is really, really short now, and I'm really happy with that. 
Okay, I'm going to end this video here. The EP3 has finally got an aftermarket Revo Technica short shifter, and it's really, really good. I'm, I'm, I can't wait to start. The, the thing is with this car, everything I do to it, I just want to get out on the road and absolutely tear it to bits because it's what these cars are about. Just absolutely ragging them, and they love it, and it's so fun. But I just want to say as well a massive shout out to each and every person that watches my videos. I do not take it for granted and I feel like I don't say thank you enough, but it's hard to show my appreciation over the camera. Thank you so much for putting me in a situation for companies like Tegwa to be now supporting my channel and I don't like the word sponsoring, but sponsoring the channel and sponsoring the car and bits like that. I can't wait to see what the future holds and I just want to say thank you. It's not it's not down to me, it's down to everyone that decided that we're going to subscribe and support what I do. That lets companies find Find out about me just because you've decided to subscribe it really does mean everything to me I appreciate it so much please remember to like comment and subscribe and I'll see you all in the next one peace